Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Saturday ushered in a new era of space exploration, and it marked a milestone for Elon Musk. SpaceX successfully launching two astronauts into space, the first launch from American soil in a decade. And on Sunday, the commercial space capsule docked at the International Space Station. So what does this mean for what we're going to now call Elon Inc.? Joining us is Adam Jonas, uh, head of global autos and shared mobility research at Morgan Stanley. Uh, Adam, it's nice to see you on what, what, what was a, a weekend of, uh, of what felt like terrible news for this country. Uh, th this would give you some hope uh, for humanity. Uh, it's nice to see you. Try to just extrapolate out what this does mean in, in the larger context of Elon Inc. and, of course, Tesla, which is a publicly traded company, and SpaceX, of course, which is not. Uh, thanks, and, and I do appreciate CNBC and, and your program for, for bringing attention to space. And I, I think, as you mentioned, uh, the, the timing, the timing is, is very important. We need it. We need moments like this. Look, it's no secret Elon spends more time on SpaceX than on Tesla. He, he's clearly the most important person in the U.S. space program uh, at a time when, you know, where there are some gaps or have been some gaps that we need to to catch up technologically and otherwise space situational awareness. What you saw over the weekend, folks, it doesn't happen without Elon Musk. And, you know, this guy, you know, he gets a lot of grief uh, at times, some of it self-inflicted uh, in markets and in the media for, you know, some of his statements and, and actions and things. But, you know, when, when you see what, what he's doing, uh, it, it does remind you of kind of the, the likes of Howard Hughes and, and Edison and, and folks that, that, that take personal risk, they don't always get it right, but they push the boundaries and inspire. So may, maybe it's time to cut the dude a little slack. How much farther ahead is SpaceX from everybody else in the, in, in the field right now? Well, it, it, it depends on, uh, on which discipline of technology you're, 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 you're referring to. But the one that stands out the most would be cost of launch. Uh, and rocket reusability, right? I mean, what's technologically uh, as as impressive as docking, you know, with with a space station in low Earth orbit, is is landing that first stage Falcon 9 rocket on a drone ship in the middle of, you know, of, of the ocean. That's that's some pretty high tech stuff. And if you think the technologies that are that are at play to do that successfully. With a very very high success rate and accuracy, uh, think of the of the purpose. Think of the other applications that could have in autonomy in other other theaters, let's say. And and that that's what's right. got I think the DoD very interested. Um, it's clearly gotten Jeff Bezos's attention at Blue Origin. He 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 wants to be the most important person in the U.S. space program. So what we're also witnessing is some rivalry technologically within companies, both public and private, on the corporate side, and clearly some rivalry on the geopolitical side, which is adding so much more um, influence to this new space race. It's going to be incredible to watch. Do you imagine, Adam, do you imagine that SpaceX will ultimately go public? And, and if not, or even if so, is there other ways that investors can get involved in this story? So as you mentioned, you know, SpaceX is a private company. We don't have coverage of it. We, we do uh, profile uh, private companies in space and autonomous and transportation at Morgan Stanley. We, we have quite a, an evolved um, a collaborative way of, of tracking important companies in various industries with our colleagues before they're public, um, mainly to understand uh, the impact they have on the investment community and also because – uh, many of our clients are able to make direct investments in these companies. So while we don't have recommendations, uh, we do have we, we can have analysis and, and insight. Right. Uh, will they go public? Um, and one of the reasons why we modeled SpaceX launch and satellite deployment going out a couple decades was to find out when they might need access to to outside capital. It doesn't guarantee a timing, but you know, in our minds, we're thinking if if to do the ambitious plans they have and the capital intensity of tens of billions of dollars to put in right. orbit and then even on Earth to work with those systems, right. we're thinking a couple of years, that, that, that frame. Okay. Not, not uh, five to ten, not, but, but, but a couple. Right. 